So as always, to bring it to life, we like to do a demo and do it in the room. So with that, I'd like to bring up Leandro Perez, Senior Director of Product Marketing at Salesforce. Welcome, Leandro. Thank you, Parker. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to be singing any songs, but luckily I'm a bit of a geek, so I'm going to explain some of that cool stuff, that AI stuff, that fourth industrial revolution that Parker was referring to. So I want to tell you about an opportunity. Every single one of you have an opportunity to intelligently transform your customer interactions. With Salesforce Einstein and its predictive insights from your customer data, and IBM Watson and its predictive insights from third-party data, like weather patterns. Now, it really doesn't matter what industry you're in. I'm sure you're all coming from different walks of life. But we're seeing powerful examples emerge, like lowering readmission rates in healthcare, minimizing downtime in manufacturing, all the way through to reducing claims in insurance. And it's this example that I want to spend a little bit of time to walk you through a demonstration. But before I do, I want to welcome the demo team over here. So Tim, <laughs> Marinine, and Dash will give us a wave. Come on. <laughs> all our demonstrations, as Parker said, are live. So throughout the whole keynote, uh, they'll be driving and assisting. So with that, let's jump in to the Lightning experience. OK. So this is the Lightning experience, and it is a modern and new user interface. But it's more than that. It's an app builder, and it's an ecosystem. You see, all of you have the opportunity to build Lightning components. And by doing that, you're extending the value of Salesforce to your organizations and to the whole ecosystem through the App Exchange. And that on the left here is an example of that. It's a Lightning component. It's called the Watson's Weather Alert Service. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, Watson, every single day, is traveling the globe and looking at weather around the world, and producing billions of forecasts, that's billions with a B, every day around how that weather is going to impact people like you and you and me and businesses. And so I don't have to tell you how important that is. I know you had some recent ice storms and some terrible storms a few years ago, and that impacts everybody and insurance organizations as well. And so what we're seeing here across the top is a subset of those forecasts around rain, hail, and wind. They're called severe weather. And every time one of those alerts happens, it's tracked here. So all the way back from February, they're the historical alerts. As we go up to April, there's some of the real-time alerts coming in. As we look further down, we're centered on the Toronto region, where we are today. Oh, looks like something's happening. So those purple dots there mean hail. Never a good sign. And so real-time alert here around what's going on in hail. And, it, and if you look at the top, Einstein's also been working behind the scenes. It looks like there's an alert. Let's check that out. OK, so if you see that in the middle, 95% chance of hail right here in Toronto today. Don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> it's just a demonstration. It's just a demonstration. Don't stay in your seats. I need the rest of the demo to go well. OK, so what happened here? So Watson knows the weather, like I mentioned, generated this alert. And then what happened is the next thing is Einstein, because it knows your customers, went ahead and identified which policyholders for this insurance organization would be impacted and that's the size of those bubbles. So it wouldn't be any good for us to know about it. What Einstein then did is automatically notify those policyholders so they can take action, so saving them and also the insurance company of the claim. So let's take a look at that journey in Marketing Cloud Einstein. All right, if you haven't seen Marketing Cloud Einstein before, its principle is based on journeys. Now, journeys, quite simply, is just a way of an organization laying out how they want to interact with their customers. So in this case, it's an emergency weather situation. What do they want to do? What are the steps they want to take? Now, all journeys have a starting point, or what we call an entry event. And in this case, it's the Watson severe weather forecast. Now, that severe weather forecast triggered the alert. But then Einstein, like I mentioned, went ahead and determined which policyholders should be on this journey. So it placed them on this. But this next bit, being a bit of a geek, is my favorite part. You see, now with machine learning, we can do something pretty cool with Einstein's smart splits. You see, in the past, someone would have had to say, how do we want to send this notification to this policyholder? SMS, an email, and kind of manually hard code that in. But now, with Einstein's machine learning, it can work out. Should it send an SMS, a push notification, or an email? And it does that in real time. Now, in moments like this, where you really don't have a lot of time to act, it said 3 p.m. for that hailstorm, this is critical, because we want to make sure that policyholder sees the message. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the policyholder sees. 
Oh, cool. Nice sound, guys. All right, so we have three phones up here. This is representative of three different policyholders. So on the left, we have a Google phone. Now, Einstein has sent a message to Emma, sending the alert of 95% chance of hail. And then Einstein, because it knows the policyholders, has customized it. It says, bring your car inside the garage. It's pretty cool. It's not a generic message. Second is an SMS, and that one's to Sarah. Okay, so again, Sarah's getting a message, but it's to tell her to bring a motorcycle into the garage. And then last but not least, we have an email. This one's gone to Jacob, and Jacob's got a boat. So Einstein said, put a cover over that boat and protect that. I wish I had a boat, but put a, put a cover over that boat. So as you can see, very powerful. Watson generating that alert about the weather, and then Einstein and its understanding of customers working out who should be contacted, automating that, then working out the best channel, and then personalizing it, because we're not all robots, right? We're, we're people. So what I'm most excited about, that's a great example, is that Einstein is now live for all of you. Yes, that requires a hand, but there we go. It's built right in, as of Spring 17, right into the platform. So no matter whether you're a sales rep, service agent, a marketer, or an admin, Everyone in this room can now tap into one of the 30 intelligent features that are part of Einstein. Now, as Parker mentioned, you can go and start your learning journey right away next door or go to trailhead.com. There's lots of trails there around artificial intelligence and Einstein. I re recommend that one in particular. I learned a lot. So with that, I'm going to thank you for your time. There is no hailstorm. And back to you, Parker. That was, that was a great job, but by the way, that's not severe weather here in Toronto. <laughs> They're used to it.